Jimmy Adams secured his second hundred of the summer while Danny Briggs recorded his maiden first class 50 on the second day of the LV County Championship match between Gloucestershire and Hampshire in Bristol, a day largely ruined by the weather. Hampshire had recovered magnificently to 165 for 8 on a rain affected first day, having been 97 for 8 at one point, and the partnership between opener Adams and number 10 Briggs continued once play started on time at Neville Road. Briggs began the day on 25 and a 6 now carried him to his championship best, beating the 36 he made on debut back in 2009. His previous all-time best was made for the England Lions in Barbados, but he passed that as well and was started to make a real nuisance of himself as far as the Gloucestershire attack were concerned. They were now without Will Gidman, who's hurt an ankle and has been added to Gloucestershire's long list of injuries. One of the men working on the restructuring of this ground may get a game soon if things carry on as they have done. Adams had started his day on 74, he being the only man to cope with those Gloucestershire bowlers still standing on day one. With Briggs staying with him, he now had his eyes on 100. He needed a batsman at the other end to achieve that and Briggs nearly went after an appeal for LBW by Jack Taylor. Now here's a clip for young keepers. See how Cameron Herring appeals outside leg stump as he followed the track of the ball, but he finishes his appeal right behind the stumps. Adams had been on only 33 when the eighth wicket had fallen, with Hampshire on 97 for eight, but he now moved into the 90s with Briggs, who completed his first ever 50 off 109 deliveries with this three. While that was superb on a personal level, he'd also helped his side to pass 200, something which at one point looked way out of reach for their third innings in succession. Adams now just needed his partner to cling on for a little while longer as he moved to within nine runs of an outstanding hundred. But after 50 minutes of trying on this day and two hours and five minutes overall, Gloucestershire finally got their man as Briggs on 54 turned this delivery from Alex Gidman to Chris Dent. Briggs and Adams have put on 128 for the ninth wicket, a record for that wicket against Gloucestershire. With only James Tomlinson left for company, Adams now tried to get to his 100, surviving this appeal for leg before to Taylor along the way. This boundary of Gidman took him a step closer on what was now a horribly grey and very blustery day in the West. It was indeed blowing a hoolie. Hampshire's major force was their captain, and he indeed did reach his extraordinary 100 with his 12th boundary just after the second new ball was taken. It had been a fantastic innings. While all others, save Briggs, struggled against this vibrant Gloucestershire attack, he had battled through. Once in, Adams is a very difficult man to dislodge. Tomlinson had blocked out 17 balls to see his captain to three figures, and he continued to do that as Adams now had a hit, driving Benny Howell into the building site. It was a remarkable effort, not only from Adams himself, but also numbers 10 and Jack, who'd given him the chance to score nearly 100 runs in partnership with those two. These two boundaries now carried him to 129 and earned Hampshire a second batting bonus point. But at lunch, autumn suddenly arrived. And that was that for day two, by the end of which Hampshire had made 264 for nine, with Adams still there on 129. Tomlinson took 44 balls to get off the mark and by the close had batted for 67 minutes for his single run yet he put on 39 runs with Adams. All will be hoping for better weather for the second half of this match.